Hello, my name is Meredith Bruff and I am a sleep coach for babies and children from zero to six. Um, my start was having five children. So I learned with my five children how to improve their sleep. And I took this talent into working in a daycare of my own where I helped my clients' children sleep well. And then I had this aha moment about four years ago when I realized this was my true calling and what I really loved and something that people needed from me. And I'm so glad I did start my own business and go into this field because I've actually created my own methods and my own approach without worrying about what anyone else teaches. Be from experience, from knowing children, I've just followed my heart. Some of the things that I teach that are very unique are non-crying methods, uh, gradual gentle changes, using nature is normal most everyone does that but i make sure to do these other things that feel natural like being responsive and listening to your intuition as you take care of your child without worrying about all the rules that everyone else worries about so that and helping people understand their child's development and all the things that affect sleep i feel those are very very powerful and unique and also focusing on temperament and finding tools that work for each child and their unique needs so let's talk about temperament. My methods work for all types of babies, but what's exciting is that they work for high needs, spirited and sensitive babies. They're the ones who the books and the ideas that are out there, they just don't work on, or it takes a lot more effort or creativity or even sometimes more tears because they're strong-willed. <laughs> and then sometimes it's because the, you know they feel things more intensely and they're more needy emotionally. So some tips I have for you today are, if you have um, a child that doesn't respond well to these other books and methods that are out there, it's not going that well, it's not that easy for you, I recommend that you go online and you look up Tracy Hogg's temperament test. Figure out some insight, learn about your child. I don't think that the categories are going to exactly fit any child, they're gonna be a mixture. So just go through that and learn about your child. If your child has any of the C, answers that means sensitivity or touchy baby or if your child has any of the D answers spirited or high energy you're gonna need something different and you're gonna need to do things differently if you have a whole bunch of those C D and E answers E includes grumpy you probably have a high needs child okay again you're gonna need something different so my advice to you if you have a child that has any sensitivity even if you don't notice sensitivity but it shows up on this test um, number one you need to understand that your child's different and stressing them out won't work well, pushing them won't work well. It's better to make gradual changes and ease them into new sleep skills. Um, and then if you have a really high energy child or spirited child or high needs child, they probably are gonna need something different when it comes to slowing them down and helping them go to sleep. You have to watch for early cues before the yawning and before the eye rubbing. Use movement to help them slow down and relax. And then when you're teaching them to fall asleep on their own, it's really, really tricky. I have a method of my own that works for these babies, but I guess the basic thing for you to understand is that you wanna use that motion or closeness to help them slow down. And then your goal is to get them <laughs> in the crib awake without getting a second wind and without um, getting upset. So that's why my method is so really so helpful because again, I'm using gradual changes, baby step pushing, and being flexible, going back to what's comfortable when your child uh, isn't necessarily ready for more, isn't cooperating. So you can learn more from me um, by going to my social media accounts, Facebook and Instagram, and looking up Sweet Slumber Time. You can go on YouTube and look up the Sweet Slumber Podcast or find that on other podcast carriers. Also on my website, sweetslumbertime.com, you'll find my podcast, you'll find some articles that I've written, and interviews as well as my services. So I hope that these tips are helpful and insightful for you and that you have a great day.